Well, Bashar didn't have a good week of practice. And so, just, she, she didn't deserve to start. So we, we went with Mercedes. And we preach, if I preach practice and, and the importance of it, then I've got to, I've got to, we don't have a lot of rules, but when I preach it and it doesn't get done in practice, I can't reward starting because that's a big thing for kids. So hopefully it'll, it'll uh, change her, her upcoming week of practice. Holly, is that a concern to have a player that talented, that, that experienced now, and she just has not No, I just think she had a bad week. She just had a bad week, and uh, she's in the middle of exams. And, and, and uh, look, Bashar understood. I said, Bashar, I'm, I can't start you. She said she understood. It, it's not a disciplinary thing. It's just... Um, she had a tough week of school or in exams, and, and she just she didn't come like Bashar plays. And my here's the deal: my expectations of Bashar are extremely high, and um, it I, I don't it's not going to be held to anything against her. She just didn't have a good week of practice. And um, Jones had a great week of practice. She was absolutely awesome this week in practice. So. Went with her and I told her she was starting and she had a big grin on her face. So, <laughs> I mean, it. it uh, we could start it. We could go down the line and start anyone. But and so I don't. I don't want to. I don't want to focus on Bashar because Bashar's a great kid. She works hard. She just had a bad week and and that happens. And Jasmine had a great great week. So I went with went with uh, Mercedes. It's amazing what practice will do, Maria. <laughs> I, I, you know, I, I think Mercedes is a very good free throw shooter. I just think she got up to the line and and uh, mentally hit her free throws. But then as a team, we, we weren't very good. And, and layups and free throws were a little bit of our demise today. We missed a lot of layups and a lot of free throws. And, and I've always said, you, you can't win. It's hard, it's difficult to win the way you want to win if you miss layups and free throws. And well, I explained that as everybody else stepped up. I'm not worried about Mercedes scoring and what she does. I, I, I know what she can do and, and her presence on the court. So I thought she had some big rebounds. And uh, I mean, she's, she's, she's playing alongside some very talented. Uh, Isabel Harrison had a great game. She stayed in the game. She, she didn't get in foul trouble. Bashar Graves a great player. So Mercedes is in a learning. I mean, I don't, I don't care if she's the number one kid in the country. She's still in the learning process. And this game is fast and it's physical. And uh, Mercedes is getting better every day. And uh, I, I, don't worry about, I don't worry about Mercedes. I just I know where she's going to be. And I know that our post uh, combined, they're, they're, a, they're a tough inside um, group. And so it, it, that doesn't concern me, really. Well, I'll tell you this. Uh, uh, Izzy called me late one night and, and um, wanted to – we decided that we were going to meet in my office and look at all her fouls, and, uh, and we did. Um, so I, I thought that uh, we, we saw a lot of fouls that were totally unnecessary for her, screening and moving, uh, fouls away from the basket. And I, I think even when I saw it, I mean, I thought, wow, you're, you're, you're just really picking up fouls that are just so unnecessary. And I'm okay with her inside and, and blocking a shot and getting a foul called on that. That, that. I like that aggressiveness, but she was getting fouls that were totally didn't need to happen. So I think when she saw it, and she and I both saw it, I, just, I, I think she had in her head, she was thinking about it. And I said, Izzy, you, these are things that you can correct. And I think once she saw that, I, I think it made a whole difference to her because she she says I'm, you know, all I do is think about not fouling. Well, you you can't because you're going to foul if you think about it. That was, that was um, uh, my days of running Friday. 
Friday. That was Friday. Friday. Um, I just pulled out my halftime speech and, I, I, you know, I, I just think we're, we're better than, than how we've started off. And uh, they know. I, I don't really, honestly, I don't even have to go in there and say a lot because they know. They write on the board what they should be doing. And I come out and, yes, yes, check, check. I just got to throw in a little, you know, raise my voice a little bit more. But they're, they're smart kids. They're smart players. They, they know. They understand the game. Um, there's, there's really not a whole lot that I have to say. They work hard, and, and I thought the first half they, they didn't work hard. As you know, sometimes it's amazing to me. We can work harder in practice against guys that are just fast and physical, and then we get out in a game and 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 we're a little hesitant. And and I don't know. Maybe it's up to me to, to find where we bridge that gap. I don't know. Yep. Does it make it harder for you to get a, a real good read on, on just how good your team is? You know, John, I, I don't. I, I think every. I think teams get up to to play against Tennessee. I don't. I don't care if they're not ranked or not or not. I thought Texas was an outstanding basketball team today, um, and I think we bring out the best in everybody. So I, I, I judge our how we play on our our effort. Um, our heart, how hard we play. Uh, I don't care who we play. I, I want the effort, and um, I want us to dive on the floor and have a big heart. And we have the talent. It, it, it's uh, we recruited talent. That's that. You, you don't teach talent. You just got to get them and going in the right direction. And uh, that's what I judge. I mean, we're going to throw the ball away because we're going to play fast and. Um, but are you diving on the floor after the ball? Are you going hard after a rebound? Are you into the game? You know, if you're selfish or into the game, and we don't have that right now, so I, I'm okay with how we're playing. I just think we just got to clean up some things. We got to make layups. We got to make and ones. We got to get to the free throw line and be, and we got to get stops. I mean, we 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 work every day on um, guarding one on one and and. I thought we broke down at times. So those are the things that, that uh, I don't care if they're, they're one in the country or, or 30, teams are going to drive to the basket because how the, the, the game's being called now. And, and uh, we, we just got to get down and, and just polish up some of the things that we need to, to take care of. I don't even, what did Megan? Six ten. Yeah, I love it. I just don't like her four turnovers, but she, yeah, I think it was efficient game for her. And uh, I, I look at Megan, I, my, my deal with Megan is, is what she's going to do on the defensive end, and she's gotten so much better. Um, but, yeah, I thought Megan tonight, for the most part, took great good shots for Megan. Um, when we stalled the first half, we weren't taking good shots, and then we weren't rebounding because we didn't know where the shots were coming from. And I thought Megan took some, some good looks, and uh, – She's just got to – we got to continue to work on her on the defensive end, but she didn't hurt us. All right, Coach, thank you. There's a key to this game is getting, getting some transition here in the second half. Absolutely. The first half was like they, it was their kind of game. Was yeah, our game is – but, but see, Dan, your, your transition starts with your defense, and then we decided to play defense, which ignited our offense. So um, that is a huge correlation for us, and it is a transition. So you look at it. I, I think the second half we missed like three transition layups in a row, and that could have that could have broken their back. But then they came down and scored. But yeah, I loved it. I love when you when we play as hard as we do on the defensive end, and then we're rewarded on the offensive end. Um, that's our game. That's what we work on. That's what we practice on. So when we see that, it kind of ignites us and gets us energized.